because their version of it, like there's a million ways to mix and match like two disparately, you know, two different genres. Right. And so, yeah, like you come, you, you surprise yourself all the time if you have those two different kind of polar opposite things. Um, I think you, it, we when we talk about that stuff, just at like the idea phase, it's always it always seems super easy. Like, yeah. And then when you get down to the <laughs> right. nitty gritty, we realize there's so many ways to go. Um, mm-hmm. And we have to find the best way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but it is such a good challenge, and it's so much fun, especially project to project, like switching it up genre wise. The way that I this is how I realized I was not a musician at heart was I was trying to mix a three four rhythm uh, signature with a four four, and I just nice. could not. Ma- I know there's a way to do it that's very mm-hmm. mathematical. I could not figure. I mean, I, I I'm sure I could have figured yeah, it out. Yeah. I didn't have the the stomach to be able to figure when it out. When were you asked to do that? Uh, I was trying to do it myself when we were oh. um, playing around with uh, on on the documentary score, actually, because we had this kind of idea of exploring like um, you remember those. What was it called? Like DJ earwig or something. Those yearly kind of mashups of different pop songs yeah. or something yes. from the yeah. late yeah. 2000s. It was like that kind of a thing. And we were saying like, can we do this with scores that are in different keys that are in different, and we kind of thought maybe there's a way to do this Mm -hmm. and have something that's like faster pace, but like signals, all these different things meshing together from famous scores. And, uh, we tried a few approaches and a few different people and it just, there's so much variation that it was very difficult to do. So we thought, okay, I'm sure everyone was like, yeah, perfect. I know exactly what you're saying. And then they go off and turn something around. That's like, yes, it's like, okay, well, that's not right. at all what my brain was saying it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just did that. We mixed, we had the, we, well, it wasn't really called upon us, but we mixed the three, four and four, four thing. That's fun. It's a good feel. Yeah. It's just a feel thing. Yeah. And yeah. Um, we did this anime series, Freak Angels, that, and, and uh, there's a cue that's like, they wanted a waltz. But mm-hmm. but but it but it became clear like in what we were talking about and kind of how they cut everything together it wasn't really a waltz like yeah time. it was like a hip hop thing so we we're like all right well it's called a waltz so we love to jump into conceptual stuff and so we're like it should be a waltz you know on some level so yeah there was a fusion of like the three oh that's you know. cool so you have the feel there but it's not a it's not technically a waltz right yeah yeah well it's both it's like yeah we had to mix we had to mix the two things okay yeah yeah like it's great and you know what's funny is like so many filmmakers will jump will when we start the notes process or just talking about what kind of music they want it's going to be like um they're going to say that they don't know how to talk music and like sorry i just don't know which is you know but we're always like this is good it's Mm -hmm. good if you don't know music because you know what you know what you want to feel or you know what you want you know in some in some parts and to say that you want a waltz, but it's going to be a for sure for for, you know, hip hop thing like great. These are different ideas musically and a composer might not like say we want to put the but like it's cool to get these two different ideas and we have to figure out how to how to put it all together, you know, and it's not going to be about like, oh, yeah, like do the swing such that like they, they will both work together. It's like they're going to be like we, we they're going to speak about emotion and, and about whatever kind of direction that they want to give for that and so it's just like that that's the best stuff we we love to work with people that like don't know anything about music and then that gives us the space to like you know be the be the composers and yeah. figure it out yeah yeah absolutely that's the most fun part of this whole thing too is just being able to work with and i've realized i'm not i'm not a specialist when it comes to music so i've tried to adopt something that's very much like you know, here's kind of where we want this to go and how we want this to feel. And it would be cool if there's a way to bring in this theme into what this becomes. And, you know, then it's like, all right, let's see what we could, what a better musical mind can come up with uh, that we're working. But on. now you're going to like, dude, you're going to be so intimidating to work with now. Like, on, you know, the next project, you're <laughs> right. going to like know every detail of like so many composers and stuff. And like, it's awesome. But you're going to have you do have a music brain, you know, if you didn't before, for sure. Now, I mean, you've got the best like Bible of composers at this point. <laughs> That's yeah. You're going to know your, your score for sure. <laughs> well, I definitely have to outsource it to the, uh, to the better musical mind.